Good evening. Let's go to Numbers chapter 5. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel that they put out the camp, every leper, and every one that hath an issue, and whosoever is defiled by the dead, both male and female, shall ye put out without the camp, shall ye put them, that they defile not their camps in the midst where I dwell. <clears throat> And the children of Israel did so, and put them out without the camp. As the Lord spake unto Moses, so did the children of Israel. So, with this sickness going on, like the COVID virus, the coronavirus, um, people are going to be put out without their families. Um, um, they may have to... Um, um, have a have a video conversation over the phone with each other because they can't they can't um, come in contact with each other because uh, it's a serious disease. Um, don't know if coronavirus is overreacted, but let's say we do get a serious disease sometime in the future. Um, some people may be um, put out or put out of the house to quarantine themselves. Let's keep going. In verse 5. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, When a man or woman shall commit any sin that men commit to do a trespass against the Lord, and that person be guilty, <coughs> then they shall confess their sin, <coughs> which they have done, and he shall recompense his trespass with the uh, principle thereof, and add unto it in the fifth part thereof, <coughs> and give it unto him against whom he hath trespassed. But if the man have no kinsman to recompense the trespass unto, let the trespass be recompensed unto the Lord, even to the priest beside the ram of the atonement, whereby an atonement shall be made for him. And every offering of all the holy things of the children of Israel, which they bring unto the priest, shall be his. <clears throat> and every man's hallowed things shall be his. Whatsoever any man giveth the priest, it shall be his. <clears throat> so this is, um, so this is a few, um, let's say there's a, there's a construction accident. Um, you may just have to, like, write a check or, um, a settlement for, um, in order to, um, to cover the accident. Maybe you should get um, insurance or something, let's say, I mean, okay, an accident is an accident, but let me be serious here, um, you punch someone, um, their, uh, their jaw gets dislocated or something, or you slice someone and it hits a internal artery, um, <clears throat> they get a serious injury, and that's when you need to, like, start, uh, Paying them back through through love or through settlements or something like that, uh, you know, like um, like uh, you could either be his brother or you could just like pay him back and call it a day or whatever, you know. Let's keep going, verse eleven. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them. If any man's wife go aside and commit a trespass against him, and a man lie with her carnally, and it be hid from the eyes of her husband, and be kept close, and she be defiled, and there be no witness, no witness against her, 
neither she be taken with the manner. <coughs> and the spirit of jealousy come upon him, and he be jealous of his wife, and she be defiled, or if the spirit of jealousy come upon him, and he be jealous of his wife, and she and she be not defiled. Then shall the man bring his wife unto the priest, and he shall bring her offering for her. The tenth part of an ephah, or barley, meal, he shall pour no oil upon it, nor put frankincense thereon, for it is an offering of jealousy, an offering of memorial, bringing iniquity to remembrance. <coughs> so... Um, if you, uh, if you catch someone, uh, cheating, if you catch your significant other cheating and, um, uh, you shoot the person, you pretty much defiled yourself. Your life is pretty much ruined, you know. Let's keep going. Verse, uh, I mean, well, let me cover this real quick. Um, the priest may have to give an offering, um, Let's see. I don't really understand it enough to cover it yet, so I'll keep going. Verse 16. And the priest shall bring her near, and set her before the Lord. And the priest shall take holy water in an earthen vessel, and of the dust that is in the floor of the tabernacle, the priest shall take and put it into the water. <coughs> And the priest shall set the woman before the Lord, and uncover the woman's head, and put an offering of memorial in her hands, which is the jealousy offering. And the priest shall have in his hand the bitter water that causeth the curse. And the priest shall charge her by an oath and say unto the woman, If no man have lain with thee, and if thou hast not gone aside to uncleanness with another instead of thy husband, be thou free from his from this bitter water that causeth the curse. But if thou hast gone aside to another instead of thy husband, and if thou be defiled, and some Man have lain with thee beside thine husband. Let's see. <coughs> I'll reread verse 20. Excuse me, I got a cough. Verse 20. But if thou hast gone aside to another instead of thy husband, and if thou be defiled and if thou be defiled, and some man have lain with thee beside thine husband. Then the priest shall charge the woman with an oath of cursing. And the priest shall say unto the woman, The Lord make thee a curse and an oath among thy people. When the Lord doth make thy thigh to rot and thy... <coughs> Sorry, I was interrupted. Let's go over verse 21 again. Then the priest shall charge the woman with an oath of cursing, and the priest shall say unto the woman, The Lord make thee a curse, and an oath among thy people, when the Lord doth make thy thigh the rot, and thy belly to swell. And this water that causeth the curse shall go into thy bowels to take thy belly to swell, and thy thigh to rot. And the woman shall say, Amen, amen. And the priest shall write these curses in a book, and he shall blot them out with the bitter water. <coughs> and he shall cause the woman to drink the water, the bitter water, that. <coughs> Verse 24. 
and he shall ca cause the woman to drink the bitter water that causeth the curse, and the water that causeth the curse causeth the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. So I guess that means she won't trust him anymore. She'll be bitter towards him, and she'll probably uh, end up saying, "My man is a cheater." He ain't nothing, whatever, you know. Let's keep going, verse 24. And he shall cause the woman to drink the bitter water that causeth the curse, and the water that causeth the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. <clears throat> verse 25. Then the priest shall take the jealousy offering out of the woman's hand, and shall wave the offering before the Lord, and offer it upon the altar. And the priest shall take an handful of the offering, even the memorial thereof, and burn it upon the altar, and afterward shall cause the woman to drink the water. <clears throat> Verse 27. And when he made her to drink the water, then it shall come to pass that if she be defiled and have done trespass against her husband, that the water that causeth the curse shall enter into her and become bitter, and her belly shall swell, and her thigh shall rot, and the woman shall be a curse among her people. So say the woman uh, cheats on a man. Um, fornicates with a lot of uh, men um, then in the community she becomes um, you know a heathen um, then it's a curse among the people and that's what it basically means you know um, yeah so you ever see a woman cheat on a bunch of guys or um, or um, you know, like fornicate around in the club, you know, they're um, going from dude to dude and uh, all of a sudden, you know, like um, she's nasty to um, everybody she knows, uh, everybody that's lived in the community um, all their life around her, they know she's nasty, so you know what it means, you know. <coughs> Let's keep going. Verse 28, And if the woman be not defiled, but be clean, then she shall be free, and shall conceive seed. This is a law of jealousies. When a wife goeth aside to another instead of her husband, and is defiled, or when the spirit of jealousy cometh upon him, and he shall be jealous, and he be jealous, correct, correct me. I mean, correction. I'll read verse 30 again. Or when the spirit of jealousy cometh upon him, and he be jealous over his wife, and shall set the woman before the Lord, and the priest shall execute upon her all this law. This shall be the man, I mean, verse 31. Then shall the man be guiltless from iniquity, and this woman shall bear her iniquity. So, <clears throat> long story short, if uh, if the woman cheats on a man, and the man gets jealous and shoots the guy that she's cheating with, or her, uh, or her the cheater, then uh, if he shoots one of them, then he's basically brought a curse unto himself because now he's got to face uh, a judge, a jury, and uh, the prosecutors, you know. And that, that's the long story short of Numbers chapter 5. Thank you very much and have a good night.